Okie dokie. Second example for this problem. I'll work it out much faster. If you'd like more of a breakdown, though, please visit the first example. We are finding the rate of change in 2019 and 2003 using this function P and using slope formula. And then once we have the two rates of change in the separate years, we will just subtract them. So we need the T value for 2019. That should be um, the number of years since 1993. So it should be 7 plus 19. So that is 26. So that is 2019. T equals 26. We want the T value for 2003. That's 10 years since 93. So T equals 10 will represent 2003. Now we want to pick t values to the left and to the right. So to the left would be 25, to the right would be 27. Same thing here, 9 to the left and 11 is to the right. We want to find the population at each of these x values or time values. So we're going to get rid of all this and we're going to just change this around here. We want 25 and 27 first. So we're going to do 1.62797. 1.62797. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a 1. All right. And then we'll change 25 to a 27. We get 1.67. 3873. All right. Just double checking. Now we want to plug in 9 and 11 to T. 1.303285. 1.303285. Now 11. 1 1.3400325. 1 1.3400. What was it? 325. Don't like this 3. Threw off my groove here. Three, two, five. All right, so we have all our ordered pairs that we need because now we are finding the slopes between these two points and then the other two points for the other uh, uh, 2003 year. All right, uh, six, two, seven, nine, seven, one. It's just very tedious with all the huge values or huge decimal places, but hopefully it's not too bad ultimately. So we're doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 for both of these ordered pairs. And we'll go ahead and calculate each of them now. So 1.673873 minus 1.627971 nice and we'll divide that by was it 27 over 25 something like that yeah minus 25 point zero two two nine five one point zero two two nine five one is that right yeah all right so one point we'll do the next one now one point three four zero zero three two five zero zero three two uh, I'm missing something three four one point three four zero zero three two five and then we have 1.303285. 1.303285. All right. And then we're dividing by 11 minus 9. And that will give us 0 0.01837. 1837. 1, All right. So now that we have the rate of change in the year 2019, as well as the rate of change in the year 2003, we want to subtract these two values. 0 0.02295 minus 0 0.01837. And 0 0.00458 should be the answer in billions of people per year. But we want to multiply this by 1,000 to get 4.58 millions of people per year. Let's see if we have a close answer, 4.58, spot on. Let's break out the eraser to see that D is, in fact, our answer. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, if you'd like more of a breakdown, visit the first example I've worked out.